Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. I hope that you have been enjoying this Red Purple Uta Showcase over the past two days. Today is going to be our last video showcasing this leader. Again, if you want to see more gameplay, you can look at the videos from two days ago where I did the deck breakdown. And then yesterday's video where we had some pretty cool matchups against Yamato. Today's video is going to include three different games. Two of those are going to be against Law. One Red Purple Law and one Green Red Law. And then we're going to finish up with one game against Black Moira. So hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. If you do, make sure to like today below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. With this video, it means that we have covered every single OPO sets leader. So tomorrow, we're probably going to start with that Sanji Soro leader. Just to kind of finish up that static deck that also comes out at the same time as this OPO sets. And then we'll move on to some other other leaders right so yeah hope you enjoy the games and i'll see you all later in this match are we going against red purple law all right all right um putting just to go first so i guess i can keep this luffy we have a new get already i think i'm good with this right we have the blocker i guess the blocker gets punished i mean the pony's still gonna have to spend at least one car right oh they're playing the film package what are you playing with the film package here I guess you're playing the Shuraya. What else? Okay, so they're with, so I guess they're not playing a lot of film cards. Interesting. I didn't expect to see this in a red purple law player. Um Yeah, I guess we, we cannot ramp, right? Because we don't have we cannot attack. So I guess we'll just go Luffy and the opponent can go ahead and play their law ability and get rid of the Luffy. Let's go ahead and grab this big blocker. Because that, that at least is going to force the opponent to have to uh, spend cards to actually reduce this. We do have to counter here just because the opponent can still play their full cost law with their leader ability. So if we go to seven cards, we'll be at risk of that. Um, yeah, which... Okay, well, I guess I don't have to counter anymore, right? Now I know that the opponent just went ahead and did that. But now you have... Zero darn. Hmm. All right, so next turn, we're going to go to five, right? We're going to go to five, and we'll be able to kill the Sorrow. When we go to five, we can go Uta, I guess. Or do we go ahead and... Hmm, let's go here. I'm going to take one hit. Yeah, because we can get this down to three. I'm trying to see. So we go to five... Then next will be at seven, and then we'll be at eight. I think I can. I don't know that I like. I don't like getting rid of the Shuraya, but I think the Uta side is so much better. So is the Douglas Bullet. So we know we're gonna be able to play the Uta no matter what. I don't think I'd need to play this Buena Fiesta. Mm, yeah. So I guess we'll go like this. We'll go ahead and throw away this guy. And just get minus two here. So this is going to force the opponent to give me two cards if they want to save that Sorrow. Which they're not. So then we'll play Uta. The only... Okay, actually, there is one downside to Uta. It's going to be a minus one down. So whatever we ramp, we're just going to lose it right back. We will be able to kind of kill their boar at least. Yeah, so the opponent just goes here. I guess I don't need to do it right now, to be honest. I can just say okay do i need to ramp anymore I, like the only benefit of ramping here is the fact that i can go ahead and get this down to three and just kill the radio i guess we'll give away one of the utas i don't hate that yeah i don't hate that so let's go like this We'll give up this Uta and just go minus three here. So this is going to be, again, two 2k counters that the opponent has to give me. And if they do actually save that, I will attack with the Uta into the Rage. Okay, they don't. So then we play the Douglas Bullet and just chill. Next one will be at 10. We can go Newgate. This blocker means that the opponent has to put Dawn to be able to actually get through it. And even if we use the Uta ability this turn, we are going to be okay because we'll be at nine. So still lets you play the Newgate. I don't think we need to anyways, right? The Buena Fiesta is not a threat. And the opponent has nothing else in the field. 
The thing is that they cannot get rid of this Uta without, without playing another unit first, right? I guess they could have the event instead. Get this down to 3k and then do that. I think that turn when the opponent went so to read you really messed them up because they were just a zero done after that, right? They couldn't get back on done and now they just now just getting back to four when I'm about to go to ten, right? So then at this point we're looking okay, so there we go. The opponent goes bone clay. So now this is even worse because now if you attack here, do I wanna play the Uta? Like do I wanna rest this? I probably need to, right? I probably need to actually do it. So I probably need to go like this. Question is, do I let this Uta die? Probably not, right? Let's just keep her alive. I think it's important for me to get rid of this guy, right? So we can go new gate, then we can attack it for seven. Do I want to attack with the Douglas bullet? I don't see why not, to be honest. I want to get... I, I need to get other stuff, right? I need to get other things at this point. Yeah, I need to get, like, my Shanks and my Luffy's. Uh, I need to get Shanks and Luffy at this point. Yeah, I'm going to leave you the Uta. If you want to kill the Uta, that's okay. I can use her effect because I know I can go back to 10 next then anyways. This new is going to be able to kill anything that you play that has less than 2k power. Maybe we go Buena Fiesta to try to search for that for that Shanks. Because I feel like I need my bombs, right? At this point, I only got one bomb. I got to 10 down, but I only drew one bomb. So it doesn't really matter. Like, we can go Buena Fiesta and Douglas Bullet and have another 7k blocker. Like, this blocker is so hard for the opponent to get through. I did use it to attack this time around. But that's because I still have this Uta on the field. Yeah, so we can go six, seven, put two on the new gate, that's nine, and we have an extra down to attack with one of my other units. So I'm still confused why the opponent's playing Buena Fiesta when I haven't seen a single film car aside from Buena Fiesta. Oh, I guess the racing match, okay. So this lets them get the Uta down to, to, the, uh, to the 2K and be able to bring the Uta back, all right? Yeah, there you go. I'm still a 7k leader, though, and that's going to be hard for the opponent to get through with the law. Kid. Yep, so then they're going to get an extra two done. I guess that lets them get there. Because they can put two down on the law. What if we take it? I really need another bomb, like I've been talking about. So what if we just take it? If we had Luffy as well, we do play two of the 10 cast Luffy, right? Okay, so this doesn't really matter. Yeah, this, I guess, I guess it does because you can give this minus two and then attack it for seven. So they're going to go after my Douglas bullet, which I guess ends up working out. They're not attacking my life. I'm not saving this, right? Yeah, I, I can't save that. Um, hmm. I guess I have to go four, eight. Hmm. Let's go here first. So I think, I think I will go ahead and play that one a fiesta, by the way. I think we're going to go six. We're going to go six here. Ten with Newgate. And I need, I need to just find... I need to find my Luffy. Oh, well, I need to find my Shanks here, right? Because this doesn't look for Luffy. There's the Shanks. And then we play here. And I like the Shanks because I can get rid of the blocker. Allow me to be able to actually have a pretty good attack. We have a 2k and a 1k still. The opponent can just bounce this Luffy back. They're down to one life. If they can get rid of this Douglas bullet, that's when it gets a little bit scary. So that's four. They need to play another card here. Okay. So they have to do a lot, right? Like that's a, that's a lot of cards that they just given me. So now their hand side gets smaller and smaller. I 
haven't died next turn. I might have to actually not play Shanks and just play Douglas Bullet. Again, just to have another big blocker. Because but I mean I guess if the opponent attacks here with anything that's not their leader, I can just kill it, right? Like if the opponent attacks with this character, I can just kill it, swing to it. I would have man, if if I had the shanks earlier, it would have been so nice. Okay, so they get another blocker here. Then they go ahead and get rid of the bullet. They go back to three down. And they can attack me with both. They also get a draw here with the... Okay, so they have a pretty big board here. They have a pretty big board. I can't... What if we use the Uta? This card, the Shanks. So that this can just get rid of the Shuriya and still be able to play the bullet, right? Okay, so they know I have... Obviously, they did it this way because they know I have Shanks in my hand. You definitely attack with both, right? You definitely attack with both here. So. If I go to one, I just lose, right? Because the opponent has too many attacks. I can get rid of the Shuraya. Play bullet. Uh, still not enough, right? So that would be. I would have to put two down on the Uta. Attack for seven. Attack this for ten. Opponent still has two attackers. The two attackers will be enough to get them there. I think we take it. So yeah. So I guess this is what we're gonna have to do, right? We go. Uh, well, actually, okay. If I do this here first. So this is the problem. The moment that I attack with this, this is the problem why Utah is kind of weak, right? The moment that I attack with this, opponent can just do their thing. If I go here first, then the opponent can just survive because it's very easy for them to counter the five. If we don't kill the Shuraya, then they get an additional attacker that just stays there. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. What if we just try to go for lethal, I guess? They have the Shuraya, right? So they have one blocker. They have one blocker. We can go to five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and a ten. Opponent has six cards. There's no way, right? There's no way that that's enough. The, the multiple 2k counters make me feel better about this, but it's still not going to be enough. Why don't we just go 5 into this? Hmm. You can go 5 into this, I guess, or, or this, right? Which one? I guess the kid... I mean, I'm always killing the kid here, right? If I go 5... We're going to go six. We can put two on the new gate to be able to kill this law. Hmm. This sucks. Let's go like this. Let's force a 2k out. They should try to keep this kid alive. Like every single time, right? So I think you just block with the Shiraya here. Yep. So then here, this is set, so we can go for four. And the opponent still has three attackers. They can also save this if they have double 2k. If they have double 2k, we were never winning this game, right? If I had another new game, maybe, because I could have gone for seven. I could have been at seven here and been okay. Now, the idea is that the opponent shouldn't have a way. We only have three cards in hand. The opponent has seven done. They can go seven, 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 three times, and they just get there, right? They could also have a Sorrow, and that will give them an additional attack. 
So they can go seven three times and they get there. Yeah, that's that. Okay. You really gonna get greedy with trying to get rid of this bullet? I guess if you have Gamma Knife, you can do that. Hmm. It's so easy. The map is there. The map is right in front of you, my friend. Yeah, this is the problem. The moment that I... If I, if I try to reduce the Shiraya with the Uta... They actually are gonna get rid of the bullet. Huh, okay. So then you have to play your law. That gives you one done. So now you can only go... Unless they have a Sorrow, they're not winning this anymore, right? They have to have the Sorrow. Five, five, five. I mean, one of them is six, right? Did they just throw the game by going like that? They just threw the game, right? They have no blockers, and I can counter all three of these attacks? Yeah. Yeah, now what? Okay. They just threw the game. They had it. They had the math and they just threw it. They got, they got so greedy with trying to get rid of that blocker. And it just ends up punishing them. They have three cards and I have two attacks. The opponent has no blockers. So I can go, what, uh, 12 here. So put seven down on Uta, right? So I can go 12 and then 13. So 12, 13, right? So 12 here, and then 13 here, and that's game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll take it, but like, it, it's a sometimes, and this happens to me all the time, right? Sometimes I get too greedy with the value that I just forget the line that's right in front of me. And that's exactly what happened to the opponent. Because, yeah, I had three 2K counters, but all I needed was just a 1K, a 1K, and then a 2K. So I could have definitely survived that. Yeah, so the opponent had so many outs there, so GG's. In this match, we're going against Law. Hmm. Do I want to go first or second? I'm going to go first and just try to ramp up. We don't have our big bombs, though. Let's mull again. Let's mulligan for our big bombs. I wanted to get my, I wanted to get the white beer. Like I really wanted to get this white beer. Um, we don't have the Shuriaya either. That would have been another good reason. There's no way you play this bunny now, right? There's no way you use the bunny ability. There's no way you do this and give me this bunny for free, right? Wow. Okay. So then the restand. Let's remember that. Let's remember that the opponent has the restand. Yeah, I guess we'll just go like this. And uh, we'll trash. Yeah, we'll go here and then we can play Luffy. I like the Uta. Right? The Uta lets me rest all their units, all their blockers. So the Uta lets me rest their blockers. Even if it's going to be minus one down. It then lets me kill their stuff, right? So the Uta is going to be really good. We'll take this one. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll take this. Cool. And, uh... Oh, that's the new game. So if we ramp up now, we'll be at 7. So we could technically go for the new game. So maybe we don't play the Uta right now. Maybe we just play the Douglas Bullet. Sure, maybe we just play the Douglas Bullet for now. Because I don't want to do the minus one done. Because I think I, I think if I just play New Gate, it's the same thing as playing this Uta, right? I guess the difference is that the Uta can rest their law. But I think I'm just going to go Big Bomb and Big Bomb, right? We're just going to go New Gate. Because what we can do, what we can do actually, is that we can go New Gate. And then the next thing, we can go Uta and have the New Gate ability trigger, right? They get the kid. Oh, the, the opponent is playing EB1 cards. I'm trying to play OPO6 and they're already in EB1. That's alright. That's a okay. 
It's still very similar, right? How we're going to play this matchup against Law. Um, if your opponent has two left or left guy, this character gets less of power. So I just need to not go that low. Which the opponent's not letting me here. I'll take it. I mean, I'm, I'm threatening to kill this body, so I think that's fine. Yeah, like we're gonna threaten to. Yeah, you, you have that rush card, but we're gonna have this new gate coming down, right? So we'll go like this. We also have multiple blockers. We'll go second new gate. I, I, I think it's probably Uta, though. I don't think it's second new gate. I think it's gonna, again, it's gonna be the Uta and just using the new gate to get rid of the shopper. Yeah, we'll use the Uta to get rid of the shop. I mean, the new get to get rid of the shopper. The opponent also gets Cavendish. Cool. Yeah, so they're, again, they're playing the EB1 cards to make Law better. We'll leave it here as an extra game. Because, again, this matchup should be very similar. Yeah, they get to do their thing here. Then they're going to go ahead and play that kid. There we go. So they're going to attack for seven here. And uh, we're going to give them a 1k. And if they attack the Luffy, we can just block with the bullet. They don't. All right, so. I like this Utas. Yep, I think we go like this. Um, wait, doesn't this have 7k? I think I like I think I like going like this. I think I like going like this. And again, we'll pop. I guess we'll pop the beige. If you, if they want to give me the shopper, that's cool. So we can play one single Uta and just attack into this killer, right? Or we can play both Utas and just rest the opponent's whole board. I think I like. Just going like this. I don't think I don't think I use it. I don't think I use it. I don't want to trash a card. Let the opponent give me three cards if they want to save that. They don't give me three cards, so I guess we'll go like this. Uh, we should have attacked with this first, by the way, before we play this Uta, but it doesn't matter. And the Uta is gonna make it so that we can rest one of their units. They gave me the two K there. We still have this Douglas bullet and we have Uta now. This Cavendish has to attack first to not get rested by Uta. So for them to get the value and get the two active done, this has to attack first. Yep. So they go for it. Um, is this a worth it? I guess it is worth it to be honest. Let's just get that Brook rested here. And uh, we'll press OK because we just play another Uta next turn. Because we can always attack, right? The opponent's going to bounce back and bring the body back to their hand. But this lets me attack into the Brook, do some other stuff. They got another Brook, yeah. So they're going to do their thing here. Uh, do I go down? Six. So we can go Shuiaya and Uta next, and I have two blockers. And get the new get value by KOing one of their cards. I, I just I just want to clear their board before giving them more stuff. I think I can hide behind my we know that the opponent has the restand law, right? We know that the opponent has the restand law. So they can always restand law here. What is your game plan? I might throw away one of the shanks just to reduce the cost of this Cavendish. But I guess I'm just going to attack it. Opponent has no blockers, right? So we can just attack it with the new gate. The Cavendish is the most dangerous card that the opponent has because they have the restand law to restand it. Because again, they're playing EV1. I think they're trying to see how they can get through this blocker, right? So they go ahead and return the brook. Oh, okay. So you can no longer play the restand law.
They bounce the Robin back to their hand. They bounce the Brook back to their hand. Uh, yeah, cool. I think the Cavendish is the most dangerous card that they have. So, I think we tried to kill that Cavendish before we tried to kill the, kill the killer. So, Uta and Shuriya is 7 Dawn. 2 Dawn in the new gate. That leaves me 1 Dawn. Which means that we can put 1 Dawn, like, somewhere else. Yeah, so we start here. Okay. Um. So, again, Uta and Shuriya is the best way to do it. So that leaves me with one down to play with. We can go sits here. I don't care about the brook. I think I want the opponent. I want the opponent to give me a card here. Yep. So then we go like this. And this is going to force the opponent to give me that law. To keep the Cavendish alive. So the only way you keep this Cavendish alive is give me the law. They don't give it to me, so now we just go... Alright. Do we go bullet here and just have... Or do we just keep the three blockers? Like, do we want to get rid of this brook? If we go like this and the opponent counters and has a 2k, they keep the law alive and then they only have three cards left. If we let the law stay alive, opponent can still feel the whole board. They gave me the Nico, but I still know they have a Brook. The Brook doesn't matter because we know we always gonna rest one of their units, right? We always know we're gonna rest one of their units, so I think we just go like this. Cause we know that when if the opponent whichever one the opponent attacks with, we're gonna rest it. With the Uta. So the Brook is gonna just stay there doing nothing. The concern here is if the opponent can refill their board and be able to go ahead and play the, the restand law. Wait, that's a mistake. Yeah, I was going to say, if you attack like that, I'm just going to rest your law. <laughs> I will just rest your law. Chopper. If the opponent gets greedy enough, we could have lethal. Now that the opponent has less cards. Okay, they have a second Cavendish, so they get the two active done. But they cannot attack with this Cavendish. We know they have the Restand Law. We can rest the Shopper. And rest. So we can rest the Shopper. I just have to make sure that I don't die, right? Opponent has Restand Law. So the opponent has the Restand Law. We only have a 2k counter. I'm trying to... Okay. I don't think the opponent has enough to play. I guess the... My concern is if the opponent has another blocker. If the... Okay, so we know the opponent is going to go restand law. And then they can replay the shopper, I guess. So restand law here. Attack me for nine again, and this is only going to be... I think I'm fine to do this, right? We rest the shopper. Force the opponent to have to replay that shopper. Because I'm just going to kill the next turn, right? They can, they can bounce back. Yeah, I, I, I know you have that, right? So you can go here, and we're just going to block like this. We can take that one last we can take the last life even with the restand law. If you keep this blocker, it keeps you alive. You have one blocker, but then that means you wasted the restand law, right? So so they ended up wasting the restand law. They have the brook. What if we just chanks? Uh okay, so 
opponent has two cards. One of them is a 2k counter. We have enough attacks to win. I, I don't know why I'm trying to think about this so much. One of them is a 2k counter. The other one is just a one, uh, probably a 1k or something else. I don't know. So. Opponent has one block, two lives. So we have to have four hits. So seven. Seven, seven. Eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. We can have nine attacks four times, but then the opponent... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the other option here is we just play new game, but then the opponent could potentially bounce this back to their hand and get the restand. I don't think we can kill them. I don't think we can kill them, unfortunately. Unless the opponent doesn't block the 5k hit. So I guess we're going to start... Okay, well, no, because I, I, if I'm going to play New Gate... I don't think it's New... It has to be New Gate, though, right? It has to be New Gate just so that we survive, but then that means that the opponent still has the law and everything else. We go to 7... But then the opponent has enough. I have, I have, I have enough blockers to potentially get there, and the seven K means that the opponent. Yeah, I think we go like. Okay, I guess we go like this first. We know we always gonna attack into this shopper. I think we attack with the five. I think we attack with the five first. See what the opponent does. Okay. We go 10. I'm taking a big risk. All right. So can I just split it now? So this can go to 10 with five done, 11 with six, and this can go 11. So we can go 11 and 11. Opponent will have to have a radical beam which they kept one down, so I think that's possible. So I think we just go here and wait for next turn and just do a next turn. My lead is at 7k. I have one life and I have two blockers. Even if the opponent gets the restand law back to the hand and just hard plays it, I don't think they get there, right? Because for them to get value from this restand law, they will have to bring it back to their hand with shambles, and then they will have to hard cast it for five down just to be able to get the attack and to be able to attack again with Cavendish. I think they have a Radical Beam in their hand, so I don't feel comfortable going for Lethal there. I think I'm just going to play the new gate. That puts me back to 7, plus 2 blockers and two 2k counters. So the opponent has to be attacking me for 9 to, for them to kill us. I guess they do have 9, 9, 9. Restand 9 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can take 4 9s. Otama. So that's a 2k. We know that the opponent has another Brook in their hand, so that's another 2k. So we know the opponent has Brook and Otama. If they have another Reese, if they have another Reestan Law in their hand, that's when it gets a little bit dicey. That's the Brook. Okay. So that's eight. And again, eight is not enough. Eight is not enough. Okay, so that's perfect. We go no blocker and just counter. Because the eight, the eight attacks just get punished by the 2k counters. So you need to attack him for nine. So the broken, the time goes to the trash. The brook just gets too darn. They could have another rush bid. And that would be another 7k attack. So that's, that's, that's another punish, I guess, right? The rush kid. Because the opponent's going to get the active done here with the uh, Avendish. But they need to play another card to actually get that active done. Again, I'm going to block your AK attacks. Because every time I block this AK attack, it's forcing the opponent to have to have a lot more.
That's a good attack, right? So the opponent attack for seven here. If I take this and the opponent has to restand, they, they didn't get the value from Cavendish. They only got one done active. So I think we go here. We block it. And then we can block with Shiraya as well. It's interesting what the opponent's gonna do here, right? Because they can get two more done again. If they have like a restand law, right? They can play restand law, restand the Cavendish. Then when they attack, they get the two done back. But I can do I can take one attack and I can block the other one. So like two attacks are not enough. Two attacks are not enough. You have to somehow have three attacks. And that's why, again, that's why blocking this AK attacks was so important. If the opponent had attacked for nine, maybe. But they didn't attack for nine, so they get punished. They get punished. I think opponent's really thinking about it. Yeah, there you go. They had the restand and they did have the radical beam. So good thing I didn't go for lethal last, last turn because they also had an Otama and the Brook. Right? So they had the second restand law, right? So it's like how we talked about. If they go for the second restand law, so they say they bounce the Brook back to their hand, they play restand law, they get to restand the Cavendish, right? So they get to restand the Cavendish and they go back to five at the dawn. The Cavendish is at seven, so they can attack me for seven and I just take it and then they attack me for 10 and I just block. No matter how you spread it, you only had two attacks left. So you're not able to actually have enough because my, my lead is at 7k, so your brook is irrelevant. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Gekko Moira. So, uh, we, we we have a very bad time here, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, we have to kind of go aggressive, in my opinion. I don't even want to play. I mean, if I play shaky opponents, just, I mean, I guess I'll play it. I'll play it out. I'll play it out. If the opponent wants to go ahead and Absalom this, it is what it is. We need to, we're just gonna ramp up, right? I think at this we just need to like kind of ramp up to our big bodies. Okay, it's just oh I hate this car so much, man. Like I hate this car so much. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh we'll throw away the shiki. Go here. At least the Uta's is gonna it's not killable by Absalon, which is the big part. Yeah, so the Uta is not killable by Absalon, which is the big part. That's why I got rid of the Shiki, because we're not going to play it. We go to 7 next turn. Okay, well, now we, now we can get killed by Absalon. But the opponent is going to have, like, nothing else in their discard. Right? Because they're going to have to... Well, no, that's not true, because the ability. And they have another Absalon now. Yep, cool. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. So, it is impossible. I can go ahead and play the Guild to Sorrow and still ramp up so that I can be at 9 here. And then what? The Shiki, the Shiki doesn't matter because the Shiki just gets punished by the Absalon. So, I guess we'll grab it. I guess I'm... I grab the Luffy so that we can share at. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, that's fine. I guess we'll go like this. Maybe we just grab the double 2k counters. In that case, I'm maybe sure I just. Yeah, I think we'll just grab the double 2k counters here. Of course, they'll put it to give me two cards if they want to give it to me. We'll go Guild to Sorrow and Luffy and play New Game next turn. And the opponent is very close to their Mora stuff. Okay. So we'll go like this. 
we'll grab the 2k 2k and then we'll go here and i guess we'll grab the bullet right will be a good blocker because it's hard for the opponent to get to reduce the cost of this i guess it's not that hard if they have surus and helmepos so yeah so you can i mean this absalom doesn't make sense here in my opinion but they can use it if they want to that'll be three down and they can still have four down for something else right yeah cool going down to two is not fun yeah so it's gonna be just at oh it's perona all right yeah so they went for perona so that they can force me to trash a car which makes the most sense and uh yeah we'll just i guess we'll go like this go six if they if they give me a 2k here we can always go for seven The problem is that they still have five life. I'm at two life and they still have five freaking life, right? Now, by, by letting me do this, this is not bad because now I can just actually start eating into their life. They have the Mora here that they can play, but we can always go for Shanks. The problem with the Shanks is that it leaves me... Yeah, they're going to go Mora, right? Yeah, they're going to go Mora, so I guess we'll just give you the 2k. You play your Mora. And I'm what? They, like, this is the problem here. I'm not gonna... They can go Rebecca. Rebecca. Brand new. And place... Oh, they're just gonna go Borsalino. And brand new. Okay. They get the Great Rapture. So, the problem with Shanks is that it leaves me with... Alright, so... I'm gonna attack for five first. See what the opponent does. Maybe I should have gone after the brand new, to be honest. I think I like Shanks. I, I, I have to go Shanks. Even if the opponent has mathematical lethal next turn because they have three attackers, I have to go for Shanks and just develop this big body that can potentially kill them next turn. If they give me this Borsalino blocker, then maybe things change now. Because now we can go like this. Do I want to kill this Borsalino blocker? I guess let's go here. They give me the 1k. I should have gone 10k into the Borsa and gone here to eat up a 2k counter, by the way. I don't know why I attack with the sit into the Borsa. When we knew that the opponent... Um, I'll give you the 1k. Let's keep myself at one life. Another Shanks. So this is going to be the second Moria, right? It's the same thing, though. Now I have two big 10k attackers. I can actually kill the whole board except for... Okay. Not anymore, because the opponent got the Sabo, of course. Well, if they play something else here, I can kill it. No, I cannot kill that. All right, so we do have this Douglas bullet blocker, but the opponent has enough mana next turn to get there. We have to have six. So I guess we can go... I'm going to go five here first. I want to see if they actually give me the block or give me the counter here. I need to get rid of this Perona. Opponent's just gonna opponent's gonna have three attackers. I'm gonna have one life and one blocker. They can get us there no matter what. So I need to get rid of this Perona so that maybe they can have one less attacker. Because we can attack it for five, for six, for seven, for ten, for twelve. Because opponent's gonna just take life. If I go after the leader, they're just gonna take life, 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 and just try to finish the game anyways. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see a way that we win this unless the opponent messes up. And that's the problem with Uta. Like, it's, you're not doing enough. If, if this car had, like, Rush, maybe. But the fact that it's just a KO, like, the, this deck that can build multiple units at once, it's not enough to just have this Shanks, right? What is really thinking about this one? 
if they give me okay yeah if they gave me that block it would have been a lot better for us so i think now we just go for five because again i'm still trying to bait out a block from them i wanted to give me the block yeah i wanted them to give me the block they end up not doing it i'm gonna just attack for seven in case that this last card is a radical beam i might actually want to keep it or at least make the opponent think that it is a radical beam yeah, they're just going to keep their attackers. And we're just going to pray that they have no way to remove this bullet. And that we top their radical beam, I guess, from my life. So, yeah. So, you just go Great Eruption. Suru. So, you have the Absalon in the discard, as we know. So, you can go ahead and KO it. And that's the game. Yeah, there was, there was no way that we were going to win this, right? Again, unless the opponent messed up, there was no way to win this. And they ended up not messing up correctly, so yeah. And they even had a second Mora and multiple 2 counters, so GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Uta. Man, those games against Law took forever. Both, both laws, right? Both laws. Uh, unfortunately for us, both players were kind of playing EBO1 cards. Uh, the, the red green law was even playing op7 cards but that's fine right that's fine we we still got through the matchups even even with those ev1 cards in there uh and i still wanted to include it because it kind of the match will go the same way whether the opponent was playing op6 or op6 plus eb01 right so it kind of shows you how we can slowly grind them out we got to grab all these new gates get a lot of value and just slowly go from there right uh, and unfortunately, the other game against Moira kind of shows why Red Purple Luta will never be playable in this meta. Because it's so bad. It has such a bad matchup against Black Perona, Sakasuki, or Moira just absolutely destroy us. So unfortunately, I had to finish up with that loss to kind of bring you back to reality if you're thinking about spending money with this deck. Don't do it. Unless you get all these cards already for, for free and you already have them because, you know, you open a bunch of OPO 6 packs. I will not build Uta, unfortunately. It's, it's fun. We had a lot of fun with this past three days, but it's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good. But anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this Uta showcase. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we will do the Sanji uh, solo leader tomorrow. So that's starter deck 12, I believe it is, right? Uh, and we're going to do that because that starter deck also comes out at the same time as Opio set. So that's another technically new leader that we're getting in this set. So... Hopefully you stick around for that. If you like our videos, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.